Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we are looking at the MSI N660 Ti PE 2G5OC Power Edition 2GB GDDR5 graphics card. It's also known under the name MSI GeForce GTX 660 Ti Power Edition. Alright, here's the box. Again, this is the MSI GeForce GTX 660 Ti Power Edition card with the Twin Froze 4 thermal design. This card has 2GB of GDDR5 memory uses the PCIe 3.0 interface and obviously supports DirectX 11. Now what's special with this card is the triple over voltage and the enhanced PWM design for the best possible overclocking but also overall stability. Now when I open this up here you get more information. There you can even see the card itself inside the box. Here MSI basically tells you more about your tuning of this graphics card and it's all based on the military class 3 design. On the back of the box there's lots of information on the features, system requirements and a short description in different languages. But now let's open the box up and see what's inside. Alright, right off the bat I have to say, MSI packages this like a high-end graphics card. Although I'm not sure if it shouldn't be called high-end instead of mid-range. There's the DVI to VGA adapter for older monitors. And here are the two dual Molex to PCI Express 6-pin power adapters for older power supplies. Now I'll take out the form, oh and here's the card itself in an antistatic bag, but we'll get to that in a moment. Instead let's move on to the accessories. That's the MSI quick users guide and more instructions on how to install the card properly into your system. Last but not least there's also a driver CD, but I'd recommend downloading the latest drivers from Nvidia's website. Good, here's the card itself in the antistatic bag, I'll take it out so we can take a closer look at it. Alright, now let's remove the plastic protection pieces that are on the connections. So here it is. The first impression is very good. Just wow, it looks very beautiful. Right off the bat I noticed the black shroud here and believe it or not it's made out of metal. Down here there's the MSI logo and this blue stripe here makes a great addition to the aesthetics. So that's a black and blue color scheme and you see that on MSI's Twin Frozen 4 design. Even on this side, that's how you look at the installed graphics cards in your system, there's a nice silver MSI logo right in the middle. These are two 80mm propeller blade fans. These should improve airflow and should be more quieter than traditional fans. But there's another special thing going on with the Twin Frozen 4 design, and that would be the dust removal technology. When you turn your PC on, these fans will spin in the opposite direction at first to remove the dust that's on the heatsink. After some seconds the fans will spin the regular way to actually cool this card down. So I can only say good job MSI, that's a really great idea. The only drawback would be the high RPM fan noise of these fans spinning backwards when you turn on the PC. But for me it's really not that bad since it will help keep the card dust free and like said before it will spin the right way afterwards and the fans will be very quiet. A very large heatsink is used as you can see and there even are nice thick heat pipes. That should help dissipate the heat faster. Even on this side the heatsink is completely invisible. This black metal part here will basically stabilize the whole card. As you can see it's mounted onto the PCB in the right location so the card doesn't get bent since it's quite heavy. The metal part will also help keep the card cooler. In the rear you can see the heatsink and really the whole PCB space is used by the aluminum heatsink. To power this card up you will require two PCIe 6 pin power connectors. This is how the card will look in your system. Of course this graphics card isn't the lightest, but don't worry the PCB shouldn't get bent since it's stabilized very nicely. To be honest I really like heavier cards with more metal on it. The more metal the better for my personal taste. MSI decided to use their standard dark brown PCB color, but I personally think black would have been better. Here are the 4 metal screws that hold the heavy heatsink in place. The PCI Express 3.0 interface is used, but you could of course also install this card into a PCIe 2.0 slot with minimal performance differences. On the top are the two SLI gold fingers, so if you so desire a 3-way SLI configuration is also a possibility. This is a dual slot card by the way, and as for the outputs there's one DVI out at the top, another one below, one HDMI out and one DisplayPort out. There even are some ventilation holes. So yeah, this MSI graphics card makes a really really good impression. It has a beautiful black metal shroud on top of the heatsink. Nice thick heat pipes to dissipate the heat faster and the propeller fan should keep the card very cool as well as somewhat dust free. 
It's a fairly long card actually and it might not fit in every case, but I like graphics cards to be longer, but not too long. The Twin Frozer 4 design looks just outstanding and this honestly beats everything I've seen so far in terms of the aesthetics. I also like it a lot that the output lanes are all covered up with metal, so it's all protected and it looks professional that way. This simply is a very beautiful graphics card. But there's even more. When installed in the system when the card is powered up, there you will see two blue LEDs down there beside the fans. Of course it doesn't produce much light, but it looks very nice and adds a nice ambience. But let's move on to the specifications. The MSI N660 Ti PE 2GD5OC Power Edition has 2GB of GDDR5 memory and uses the GK104 GPU. It has a core clock of 1019 MHz, a memory clock of 1502 MHz and a shader clock of 1019 MHz. The TDP would be 190 watts and the 28 nanometer architecture is used. DirectX 11 is fully supported and the bus width would be 192 bit. Now let's move on to the benchmarks. So the MSI N660 Ti PE 2GD5OC Power Edition 2GB GDDR5 graphics card is a really good choice if you're looking for performance. You can play every single game at the highest settings at the time of this video. The power consumption can be considered as normal to low for the offered performance. And thanks to the efficient Twin Frozer 4 thermal design, the temperatures are always kept very low even at 100% load. This means you could overclock this card even further if you want to squeeze out more performance. The design of this MSI graphics card is fantastic for my taste. Of course the look may not be everyone's taste, but it definitely is mine. What really makes this card stand out compared to the competition is the cooling technology and expensive design for the price. If you want to compare this card with AMD's lineup, well this GTX 660 Ti would lie in between the HD 7870 and the 7950. However, right now at the time of this video, in some games the GTX 660 Ti beats the HD 7950. In the end I'd say this card is for people that want a great performing graphics card. This card will play games at maxed out settings even at the full HD resolution. This actually is a mid-range card, but it looks, feels and performs like a high-end graphics card. So I believe it can be called high-end. I wouldn't say this card is for the absolute enthusiast, but for many enthusiasts, this GTX 660 Ti could be one of the best graphics cards to go with if it shouldn't be too expensive. There's not so much difference anymore between this GTX 660 Ti, 670 or 680 and therefore I believe it can be called high end performance wise. But this 660 Ti doesn't have the best price performance ratio. If you want best performance for the price, go with the GTX 660 if you want a 660 Ti like card. 
It's just one step below the 660 Ti, but is priced more reasonable. Pros are massive performance, low power consumption, very low temperatures, it's very silent and there's headroom for overclocking. I also like the dust removal technology, where the two fans spin backwards at first to blow out the dust and last but not least I love the outstanding design with the metal shroud. There's just one thing to say for the cons and that would be, this graphics card simply doesn't have the best price performance ratio. But other than that it's pretty much a beast and I give it a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.